Hello Flutterlings, welcome back to our Flutter tutorial series. In today's episode, we'll be focusing on App Bar Widget, an essential component for creating visually appealing and functional Flutter applications. By the end of this video, you will be having deep understanding of how to use App Bar effectively in your own projects. So let's get started. The App Bar is a material design app bar displayed at the top of the screen, providing quick access to important actions, navigation, and information. It's a versatile widget that can be easily customized to fit your app's unique design. Let's explore some key features and properties of app bar. To get started with the app bar, you'll need to import the material.dart package. Let's create a new Flutter project and add the app bar widget to the main.dart file inside a scaffold widget. As you can see, we've created a stateless widget called my homepage. Inside the build method, we have returned a scaffold widget with an app bar. The app bar has a title which displays our screen title. Now we've created the basic app bar. Let's dive into some of the most important properties and how they can help you build your app. Background color. The background color property allows you to set the color of the app bar. In this example, we have set the app bar background color to deep purple. Actions. The actions property lets you add a list of widgets like buttons or icons on the app bar. Here we have added two icon button widgets to the app bar. One for search and another for menu. Leading. The leading property allows you to add a custom leading widget, typically an icon or a button, to the app bar. In this example, we have added a custom leading icon button with a menu icon. Elevation. The elevation property lets you control app bar's shadow depth, giving it a sense of depth and separation from the content below. In this example, we have set the app bar's elevation to 4.0, which adds a subtle shadow below the app bar. Center title. The center title property is used to control the alignment of the app bar title. When you set to true, the title will be centered. In this example, we have set the center title to true, which centers the app bar title. Now that we have covered the essential properties of app bar, let's explore some tips and tricks to help you get the most out of it. Flexible space. The flexible space property allows you to add a custom widget that expands and collapses behind the app bar as the user scrolls. In this example, we have added a flexible space bar with an image that will expand and collapse behind the app bar. The bottom property lets you add a custom widget below the app bar. This is commonly used for tab bar widgets for tab navigation. In this example, we have added a tab bar with two tabs below the app bar. And that's it. You now have a solid understanding of app bar in Flutter, along with its essential properties, customization options, and some useful tips and tricks. Be sure to experiment with App Bar in your own projects and don't forget to consult official Flutter documentation for the latest updates and features. Thank you for watching the App Bar tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Flutter content. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Happy coding and see you in the next tutorial.